Hey everybody, Techie101 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Medieval 2 for the PlayStation 1. Alright, let's do this. Kind of took some time off there. I apologize, some shit happened, but hey, you never know. You can never expect things. Okay, going back to Kingsting the Tomb where we left off. Um, yeah, that's... Well, that's the screenshot of Kensington, but uh, the tomb looks a little bit differently. We're going back to the museum on this one. Don't you love video games where they cycle back and forth between one level? They just modify it like 13 different times. Yeah, this game is like that. This isn't even the last time we're in the museum. All right, let me just re-familiarize re myself with the control series. It's like, that doesn't help that I'm filming this right after I wake up. All right, well, um, you know what they say. Geronimo! Oh, shit. <laughs> Geronimo! Ah, shit. Yeah, that one went about as well as I figured, considering I'm playing this on a keyboard right now. <laughs> oh, Snapple facts. Ah, uh, shit. I love how they do it really slow, like, yeah, right, you are fucked. Run, Dan, run! <laughs> run, holy shit! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, I don't like these things, you know? All right, okay, there we go. Oh, boy. Good thing they don't, they have very, they have very poor jumping skills. Normally, I, what I do is I try to jump on that, um, you see it over there, it's like that, uh, hold on, I gotta readjust the camera. It's like the, that little top of the, uh, thing you can jump on, there's like a ladder there. What those, uh, those chandelier lamp things, they're like plants, I don't know why they're hung from the rafters. Anyway, you can, uh, lead them and they'll lead you up there and you can stand at the top of there, and then I jump down, activate them, and then I jump back up, and then I kill them from there. Wait until later in the game, like in the last, uh, the last weapon we're gonna get in this game is some really heavy artillery. We can come back and play this level and we can mow these bastards down in like two seconds. It's fucking hilarious. There we go. Who? Alright then. Magical doors. I guess we killed the guardians, so yeah. They didn't care very much last time we were in there. I guess that, that, uh, s with that snake dude and that dog guy. You know, must have pissed them off, something fierce. But anyway, I think there's a couple things up here, so let's go pick that up. Yeah, we should probably stock up on some ammunition. Uh, oh, there is a ladder here. Alright, get up the ladder, Dan. It's, I don't even know. It's a very interesting Egyptology exhibit, I have to say. The Kensington Museum certainly goes all out. Oh, shut up, Dan. You don't have any muscles. Be tough. All right, so here's the thing about this level, just like a little uh, Easter egg. It's not really an Easter egg. When I was a kid, I would always obsess over this. How You know how you see these two coffins over here have these two platforms, like plaques on the wall that separate them? Almost like you could walk from one to the other to this one. Now, they're not over here, keep in mind. All right, so there's also that and... Let me give a better view of it from up here. This is the area where you would kill those things, like I said earlier. I'm trying to get a good view of it. Above, you have to look really quick because I'm going to jump here, but above this coffin, there's like a hole in the wall, right? So that hole is never used in the game at all. So just using logic, you know, video game platforming logic, I figured you could jump from this platform to this one, to this, to this, to this, and eventually you get to up the hole. Now, I don't know how many times I must have tried this as a kid. It must have been like, I must have spent entire days doing this. I actually did eventually make it to this coffin. However, once I got to this coffin, I could not jump into the hole. Um, either it was too high up or it, was just, it wasn't just graphically coded in the game. Now, even after I got the walkthrough for this game and I consulted, you know, game facts online and shit, um, there's nothing in there. It's just like a graphic thing. I don't know. Maybe that's where the Tyrannosaurus, that's maybe where the Triceratops entered the room from. No idea. But it just always bugged the crap out of me. Come on, Dan. Let's go down into the tombs. Welcome to the tombs. <laughs> That was a Walking Dead reference there, anyone watches that show. Actually, that's a pretty apt uh, apt uh, reference there, considering that we're playing a game where we kill zombies. Although I don't think uh, Egyptology, you know, wrapped up mummy dogs are really in The Walking Dead. I don't know, give it till season 9, maybe some shit will happen there. Alright, well actually no, we, we should probably switch to the firepower for this one. 
Cause guess who's coming to the party? Aw, oh, they don't even cool get an they don't even get an awesome cutscene this time around. Die, 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 die. We don't have time for your Oh shit! We don't have time for your weird freaking Star Trek space powers. Die! Jeez. I do not remember writing about uh, that, reading about this in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. <laughs> Although. So, yeah, yeah, here's our friend little green hand. Um, I should just probably bring this up. This is kind of a post-game thing. Later on in the game, we're going to learn how to attach our head to these little green hand guys. And we can control them throughout the level. Now, it's not through every level. I think it's only from, like, the first five or six that we're actually able to do in, like, hidden areas. It's so, like there's, like, a hidden area right here. So maybe after the game is done, I'll do, like, a post-level where we get to see them. And my graphics are glitching out now, but whatever. A lot of fun trivia in this episode. Okay, so here is the next... Uh, stage and as you can see we have a little puzzle on our hands now this you, you guys should be considerate because this freaking stage right here was pitch black in the middle of uh in the ps1 version like you could not see a fucking thing um so luckily now that my emulator is a little bit more brighter here do so gotta love the uh, the theme here I, i'm pretty sure this is this yeah this is still the kensington theme um I was gonna look for something else to switch out for, but I, I usually you need the torch because it's just so freaking dim here. But that's not the case. All right, so we have these three different separate uh, ledges we have to get up on, and it's not really a puzzle. We're gonna move these out of the way, and we have to interchange them. Your oh shit, that's right. Yeah, these guys like to hide out in there. I summon my steel in attack mode. Ugh. You go to face down position. Or the dead position, whichever you prefer. Come on, Dan. Which is how do you push? Come on, come on, buddy. I believe in you, buddy. Come on, push the damn rock. Push the damn rock. There we go. You have the ability to push a probably like a one-ton boulder, but falling from I don't know ten feet, man, just to hurt you. The tablet of Horus. Not really huge on Egyptian mythology, I apologize. I, I do love all forms of mythology. I do have a copy of, uh, what is it, the Iliad and the Odyssey, but as you can probably tell, I am more Greek than Egyptian. Um, I was a fan of Egyptian mythology when I was a little kid. I don't know why. It might have been this game, actually, that spawned that interest. Uh, so I would always like research that. I've kind of forgotten everything that I have learned back then, but you know, you know how it goes. Okay, I think there's another one that's going to pop out from here. There we go. You can't even see them until they're right on the end. Oh, yeah. Spare me your green Cero Blast, Ukiora. He was way cooler than you guys. He wasn't even Egyptian. Although, the face painting. You gotta give the credit some guy. You gotta give the guy some credit, you know? Oh my god, there better be a really hot, sexy mummy chick at the end of this puzzle, or I am just going to give up right here. Very elaborate museum displays, I must say. There we go. Ooh, and you got a present up here for me, too. The Staff of Anubis. Okay, I'm pretty sure anyone would know that Anubis was the Egyptian god of the dead, so... Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm smart. I'm SMRT, I know... Who Anubis was. I bet you guys don't know who Anubis was. You've probably never heard of him. You know? That's like when you're like five years old and you learn like one, you know, helpful trivia note from like a book or something that your parents don't know and you feel like you're freaking Einstein. Like, hey mom, hey dad, I bet you didn't know that coconuts aren't really nuts, they're actually seeds. And then, you know, your parents will be like, wow, Billy, that's really interesting. That's something I didn't know. And it's true that they actually did not know it, uh, but at the same time, they don't give a fuck. Okay. I wasn't making that up either. Coconuts are really seeds. <laughs> we have these um, National Geographic fa random fact books at my store. And, you know, I don't know, what else am I supposed to do at my store? You know, like, work, you know? Like, pff, what the hell is that, right? Um, so I was going through all these books one day, and they're like picture books, and they're really interesting. And they're just these random little factoids going on here. Can't remember all of them right now, but there's a cue. Scroll, scroll of Skekemet. That's the only. That's the only one in this game I did not know who it was. I know I've hor I've heard of Horus before, although I'm not exactly sure what he used to do. Okay, here's the final chamber where we have to 
sit on the great expanding thighs of the Egyptian gods of old and cram stuff into their um, slots. First up, this guy is looking like a bird dude, so let's throw in Horus there. I'm assuming that's him. Okay, kick ass. Rock on, Hori. Rock on. All right. This next guy is a... Uh, hold on. Can I... Yep, there we go. This next guy is a dog, so I'm just going to jam this rod right down his pants. Oh, I guess not. I guess this is Skekamet, whoever this was. Oh, wait, no. Huh. All right. Guess he's the Egyptian god of... I don't need a goddamn prop to tell me who I am. Okay. There we go. It is Anubis. Just going to slide that in there, buddy. Just going to slide that in there. Uh, why they have to make them naked? I mean, hell, at least Zook, uh, Zeus wore a freaking toga. And this is Skekmet, who kind of resembles... What the hell is that? A panda bear? A koala? Pretty sure the Egyptians didn't have those. Synchro Summon Level 10! Mummy King Kia! She's a zombie type, and she has 3,000 attack points. And, uh, yeah, she'll kill you. You need the equip spell. You need the ritual spell card. Um, wait, no, I, I said she was a synchro summon. Shit. She's a synchro ritual card. There you go. Ooh, she's looking pretty good for 5,000 years old. I just thought the Yu-Gi-Oh! series would have been a lot more interesting if instead of it was a female that you... I, I mean, uh, instead of being in a male pharaoh that, you know, uh, Yugi was possessed has, it would have been a female pharaoh. That would have been like, like, uh, like, um... Cleopatra, man. That would have been that would have been really weird, you know? Would have added a whole new twist to the series a little bit there. Alright, so Professor, I'm back from Kensington. I got myself a pocket watch. You just dump that Egyptian lady just hanging out there. You think we'd, you know, keep her, you know, in your somewhere that's not, you know, like a shithole. Like you should have cleaned the place up first, man. We have a lady staying over. And don't like, don't even ask me to go freaking half seas with you, sloppy seconds. I am not going I have my standards as a skeleton, good sir. And that's not all you yeah, I don't know how that works, but hey, whatever. It gets you where it be to be. The blue chicks really get me snoggered in the old pants region there, Voice You. Yeah, I found this shitty one dollar box. Oh wait, no, not that yet. I tell them about the dog and the snake first. I have to pantomime it. <laughs> How the hell did he get that? Interesting. Analyze this and see if Analyze it. Victorian era DNA testing. That's totally what I'm going to be doing with this Egyptian chick who doesn't know very much about the modern day when you're off gallivanting around a carnival. So have fun there, Chortescu. Yeah, I'm just going to be working on this program over here. This this equation here. This red liquid plus green liquid and blue wicked equals a red circle. It's a very important equation here, you can see. Alright, let's see what enemy we got, guys. Oh! By the hammer of Thor! You're Ooh, sure to have a yon mirror. Time. I'm gonna bash a fucker's brain in with this. Oh yeah! Summoning freaking the power of thunder, man. The hammer of freaking Thor. I completely forgot it was actually called that. Hold on. Come on, Dan. There we go. Oh. Oh yeah. Loki can kick my ass with this thing. Oh! Yeah, the wave pattern's also a little bit different than in the original game. Oh! 